Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about enabling a sound alert for screenshots on your Windows computer. So, Windows does allow users to take screenshots using different keyboard shortcuts. And if you would like a little sound alert for the screenshot instead of having the screen flash, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, this will apply for the print screen key combination but not the win print screen combination so it only works for one of the screenshots to the more classic one the traditional one that most of us would be familiar with but anyway we're going to go ahead and jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu type in regedit so r-e-g-e-d-i-t best result should come back a registry editor you want to right click on that and select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes and now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest that we create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, again, it's very simple. You would just would select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer if you ever needed to restore from the backup, of course. And if you ever did need to restore from the backup, you just would select file and then import and navigate to the backup location. So again, very straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and start by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for app events. Same thing now for schemes. Double click on that. And then there should be an apps folder. Double click on it. And then there should be a dot default folder. Just loft click on that one time. Please take note of the file path up at the top of the screen. If you need to pause the video, you can see each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So anyway, now that we have the .default key selected, you want to right click on it, select new, and then select key. You want to name this key exactly how it appears on my screen. So snapshot. One word, the S in snap and the S in shot should both be capitalized. No spaces in between either of these words here, or it's basically one big word. Hit enter on your keyboard. And once you've done that, you want to go and, and minimize the registry editor here. And now open up the start menu, type in run. Best man should come back a run right above app. Go ahead and just left click on that to open it up. Now I'm going to have a path in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy this. So I'm going to have it in the description of the video. So just highlight it over, right click and copy. Or if you want to use control C, like a keyboard shortcut, you're welcome to. And then we're going to paste it into this run field. Go ahead and select OK. Once this is open here, now you want to go scroll through these program events here until you find notifications. Right here. And now underneath notifications, there should be something that says snapshot. So now that you've selected snapshot, you want to go underneath for the sounds and click inside this drop down. You can enter in whatever sound you want. You've got a wide variety of ones to pick from here. If you choose to do so, you can test them by selecting and then selecting the test button if you choose to do that. And once you've done that, you should be able to go ahead and select apply and OK. And that's pretty much it guys. So you can close out the registry editor too at this point and that should pretty much be about it. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.